Yes. And this then, guy walked in. He walked everybody around. I was sitting at the end. Except you? He just turned like I wasn't there. People were walking around us without seeing us at that party. Maybe you and I were invisible. <laughs> Hello, I'm Zanzi, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will go to Lagos, Nigeria. As you can see here, this is the actual video or the party that Annie was not invited to by Swanky Jerry. If you're not already aware, let me catch you up really fast. Young, Famous and African, the Netflix reality series uh, premiered on Friday and the storyline included a lot of heated moments from cast members Swanky Jerry and Annie Edibir, who are actually friends in real life, or so we thought. So they, throughout the series, there's just some bickering between the two until they both uncover the main reason and Swanky lets Annie know he threw the party and didn't invite Annie because she said some messy things to him and didn't know that he was on the phone listening to her. So the tension between Swanky Jerry and Annie escalated, leaving them at odds with one another. This video is the reason why these two were not speaking throughout season two. And here we see uh, Pearl Tusi and Zari, the boss lady, who both flew together from um, South Africa to Lagos, Nigeria, to attend this um, exclusive event. And this really, really hurt Annie because she says she saw the pictures on social media. So my question as well is even um, Zari, oh yeah, Zari and Annie are not. <laughs> let's text each other friends okay so that makes sense and i'm not sure if pearl tusi has any affiliation with any so any literally says she found out about this event on social media so eventually in one of the final scenes Annie and swanky iron it out they speak and forgive one another but what is interesting is what annie has posted um or rather annie's uh, manager has posted to instagram and yet again, another cast member revealing how much Netflix cut out the good scenes and left them looking like villains. This is what she wrote. So Sarah posts to Instagram. So I have watched the whole season of Young, Famous and African season two. And I have just these few words to say. Annie Idebir gave way more content than what ended up on the show business projects, both within the film space and outside of it, motherhood challenges involving her daughters, navigating friendships, etc. How we ended up here is the call of the show producers and owners. Annie Idebir is not perfect though, but she is a human being and what you see is what you get. If she loves you, she will love like her all life depends on it. And if she fights you, she will cuss out you like a sailor but she will still apologize and agree where she did wrong my heart breaks that we are here another season and people still haven't gotten a better perspective of her and truly that better perspective was what the show was meant to provide all the bullying tagging and craziness i have just seen absolutely crushes me she truly doesn't deserve it but she will be fine as always. But we, but we can all be kind. It won't kill us. I love you and I am proud of you, Annie Edebir. It is not easy to be you. And Annie responds with the following in the comments. We gotta get back to our grinding, hun. No time, baby. The universe, the air we breathe in, the sound of the waves in the dead of the night by ocean, the stars in the dark sky, the full moon, when we are all asleep. All of these elements of the universe sees everything, hears everything, hidden or out, and knows every truth. We good. Oh yeah, Miss S, transfer my dollars now. Share you say our project alert don't enter. 
please let's pop something at our favorite spot rooftop so that's the best um so that's what annie typed out on instagram but that's the best pigeon i could um make out i hope that makes sense but basically annie annie as well is saying exactly what zari and kanye mbao are saying as well that the show or the production netflix cut out the good part and made them all to look like villains to suit their storyline and i guess to get the views what are your thoughts on netflix cutting out the scene is it fair for the artist not to have a say in the editing of the show what's your prediction for season three Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content and updates on the latest episodes of Young Famous and African. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the fascinating lives of these influential personalities.